This is cat claw vine, McFadiana unguiscati. Cast claw vine is a high climbing woody vine that can grow up to 50 feet in length. Cat's claw vine gets its name from the three pronged claw like climbing appendage. Cat claw vine thrives in full sun or partial shade and in a wide variety of soils. Cat claw forms impenetrable tangles of wiry twisted stems, all with the small claw bearing leaves catching other plants, clothing, or human skin. Cat claw vine clings tenaciously to any substrate with adventitious roots and clawed tendrils. These are used to grasp onto plants or other surfaces. When the stems reach sunlight at the top of the canopy, large tubular bright yellow flowers are formed. Flowers are trumpet shaped and yellow, three inches long and four inches across. They are solitary or in axillary clusters. Flowers are followed by foot-long capsules, which release innumerable winged seeds, thus further spreading these plants. Fruit capsules are linear and flat and can grow to 20 inches long. They start out green and turn brown. Branches and runners have adventitious aerial roots. The dark green leaves are opposite compound with small wide leaflets. Leaflets are mostly one to three inches long and oval to lance shaped. Cat claw vine forms a dense mat that will cover the forest floor and smother native vegetation. Tubers are produced by both young and mature plants and allow for regrowth. Tubers and stolons form at each node if the vine is creeping along the soil surface. Cat claw vine can be confused with native cross vine, Bignonia capriolata, but only the cat claw vine has the three clawed hooks. Cat claw vine is very difficult to control and can be a serious problem once established in a natural area. Cat's claw vine is considered a category one exotic invasive species by Florida's Exotic Pest Plant Council. Cat claw vine can be killed by herbicides, but not without killing the underlying structure. Cat claw vine is found in over a dozen counties in Florida. It's also found in Texas, Louisiana, Georgia, and South Carolina. Eradication may now be impossible.